Here's a funny fact. Starship can't go to the moon on its own. It needs a buddy to refuel it in space. That's why NASA gave SpaceX 53 million US dollars to show off their space gas station skills. Hey, can I get 20 mil on three? This is not only important for lunar trips, but also for Elon Musk's dream of colonizing Mars. But how do starships fill up each other's tanks? And why do they look like they're hugging? Don't worry, we're going to explain why in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The first goal of Starship is to to reach the moon, and even further, to Mars or other deep space locations. With significant distances involved in space travel, spacecraft will always require large amounts of propellant for their extended journeys. And with a reusable rocket, the majority of the fuel is typically consumed by the turbocharger and the spacecraft during the launch to reach orbit. At this point, there is usually only a limited amount of fuel remaining for the spacecraft to perform an atmospheric aerobrake, utilize a parachute, or or the belly flop maneuver and land. This necessitates the need for in-orbit refueling of the Starship during the extensive journey to ensure an adequate fuel supply for propulsion. It'd be similar to gas stations along the road when we travel from one place to another. Or if you've got a Tesla, you know, like a supercharger. The refueling process begins with the launch of a partially fueled Starship from the Earth's surface. Once in orbit, another Starship is sent to rendezvous with the first spacecraft. This carefully choreographed dance of two Starships maneuvering in space marks a departure from the conventional approach of launching fully fueled vehicles from the ground. When the two Starships are docked or connected, the propellant will then be transferred from the refueling vessel to the target spacecraft. This this is called the modified side-to-side -side fueling method, as opposed to the previous end-to-end -end or colloquially coined butt-to-butt -butt fueling method. This alternative fueling maneuver aims to address potential challenges and improve the stability and efficiency of the process. The side-to-side -side refueling mechanism deviates from the previous design's reliance on a balance advantage where fluids flow downwards with a slight eulogy push in one direction. By switching the propellant full drain line lines to the side, SpaceX aims to achieve a more practical and effective refueling operation. While the side-to-side -side refueling concept offers a fresh perspective and potential advantages, there are still several issues that need attention and resolution for a more successful outcome. For example, the ability to transfer highly volatile substances in the microgravity environment of space. Liquid oxygen and liquid methane are between spacecraft in orbit. Methane and oxygen need to be stored at extremely low temperatures to, mean to maintain their liquid state, which requires advanced insulation and cryogenic systems. Systems. While the concept holds immense potential for enabling long-duration missions and expanding our presence in space, the lack of comprehensive testing poses a significant hurdle. To achieve successful refueling at the required scale, it is crucial to establish protocols and technologies that guarantee efficient and reliable propellant transfer between vehicles. While recognizing the importance of orbital refueling, SpaceX has actively collaborated with NASA to secure funding and develop essential components such as cryogenic fluid couplers. These couplers serve as critical interfaces that allow the transfer of propellants between spacecraft. Furthermore, connecting two rockets in orbit is a complex task that requires precise coordination and maneuvering. The sheer magnitude of this endeavor involving two massive spacecraft moving at high speeds in the vacuum of space poses significant challenges. That's why ensuring a successful connection and transfer of propellant between the two starships demands exceptional engineering, navigation, and communication capabilities. However, SpaceX has already demonstrated its expertise in orbital rendezvous and docking through the Crew Dragon spacecraft's successful missions to the International Space Station. The experience gained from these missions, where the Crew Dragon autonomously docks with the ISS, provides a valuable foundation for SpaceX to tackle the challenge of connecting two starships in orbit. The company's track record of reliable docking operations serves as a testament to its capabilities in overcoming intricate space maneuvers. One could argue that the art of refueling, or the flying gas stations that make it possible, are the coolest things ever in the sky business. 
Well, maybe after the birds, of course. And we will witness them in action soon without having to wait until heading to Mars, as refueling will be performed by Starship during the lunar mission with NASA. The lunar lander will have to spend up to six months in orbit in order to be fully fueled for the trip as well. Without fuel and equipment, Starship weighs a whopping 125 tons, which is almost 30 times more than Apollo 11's lunar lander. It may even weigh more with electronic equipment and payloads of up to 150 tons. SpaceX estimates that 1,200 tons of fuel, consisting of both liquid oxygen and methane, must be used to complete a lunar landing, especially if it's supposed to be able to leave the moon again. This means that Starship has to be refueled a total of 14 times in orbit to have enough fuel. During a launch, Starship uses most of its fuel to reach orbit after separation from the booster stage. But this plan has proven controversial in the space transport industry, as Blue Origin, owned by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, took exception to the Starship potentially needing 14 launches to refuel in space. The company went so far as to blast the plan as preventing the U.S. from landing on the moon in a safe and sustainable way. Blue Origin then goes on to claim that SpaceX got preferential treatment when being selected for the Artemis program. This led to Elon Musk claiming in a tweet that the Starship will only need eight refuel rocket launches and even just four if the Starship is only half full. Musk further elaborated that even if this required 16 refueling flights, it wouldn't be a problem. SpaceX's orbital flights will still happen more often than Jeff Bezos's with the stationary blue feather. Of course, not to brag, but SpaceX is confident enough that the company's plans will take humans to the moon for the first time since 1972. SpaceX is not just making rockets, it's making history. Every time they launch something into space, they show the world what the future of aerospace looks like. And it's pretty awesome. From the development of the Falcon 1 rocket to the groundbreaking Falcon 9 and heavy launch vehicles, SpaceX has consistently demonstrated its ability to deliver payloads to space reliably and at a fraction of the cost compared to traditional aerospace companies. The successful development and deployment of the Dragon spacecraft, capable of delivering cargo and, further on, crew to the International Space Space Station further solidified SpaceX's position as a leader in the industry. And as SpaceX continues to refine its technologies, the orbital refueling process for Starship is undergoing changes and improvements. Through a series of test flights and iterations, SpaceX is gathering invaluable data and insights to enhance the efficiency and reliability of the process. The upcoming test flights will serve as crucial milestones in validating the feasibility and safety of in-orbit refueling. SpaceX has big plans for the future. How big? Try a hundred starships and a thousand spacecraft every year. That's a lot of rockets and a lot of fun. SpaceX wants to make space travel cheaper and easier for everyone. And whether you want to go to the moon, Mars, or beyond, SpaceX has you covered. Well, folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the amazing progress over at SpaceX, as well as having a deeper understanding of the orbital refueling process that the Starship will eventually take part in. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.